rinsing and rinsing and rinsing some more. My Irish moss. Now, I have been using Irish moss a lot lately and I've been doing a few experiments and I have some interesting things I've learned about it. For starters, I don't soak it overnight anymore. I only soak it for three to five hours until it's about this thick. It just makes sense that if it's loaded with water initially, it's gonna be harder to blend. You're not gonna be able to add more water later to blend, but if it doesn't, if it's not full of water in the first place, then it'll be a lot easier to blend because we can add water. And that is the thing, we, do, we want a gel, but we don't want a thin runny gel because it's not gonna thicken up our stuff. We want it as thick as we possibly can get it in the dehydrator. So we are going to be making cheese today, feta cheese. And then we're gonna make a sweet cream as well. Okay, so I have two different versions, sweet and savory. And we're gonna be using Irish moss and almonds. Okay, so let's get started with the almonds. What we wanna do is we wanna soak the almonds for about one hour. After you soak it for an hour, it'll be super easy to pinch these little guys just right out of their seeds. So you just go, see how it, you can just pinch them out? And you know, you could do this really fast. It doesn't have to take a long time. You could do this while you're conversing with somebody or watching a YouTube video. I always try and multitask, so. So that's what we want to do. Now, you don't have to um, pinch them out of their skin, but it will make your cheese more beautiful looking um, and less earthy flavor from, because this, this, the skin does add an element of flavor, um, more earthy. So we've got these nuts going. Now I'm gonna work on my uh, sea moss gel. Just gonna take, oop, I see a little string. So this is completely normal. It could be a different type of sea plant, could be a little piece of a net, completely normal. You just wanna make sure you get all the little debris, sand, salt, and stuff like this from your Irish moss before we blend it. Remember, this is right out of the ocean. This is not created in a factory. They can't possibly pick over every little, little piece of debris. That's up to us. So here we go. Um, I have, how many is this? Three cups. This is th um, three cups loose, two cups condensed Irish moss. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon, a little bit of lemon juice into the blender to give it a little wing. Also, I am going to add a little zest because every time I use lemon, I scrape a little zest into whatever I'm using because lemon zest is just so wonderful for the body and any little help I can give my body as well as yours, it's a good thing. So we got the lemon, and then I'm gonna start out with just a, lit, a few tablespoons of water to start out with. So now I'm gonna start um, blending it by pushing it and using the least amount of water possible. Okay, so you see we have it nice gel consistency. We want it this consistency or smoother, but this is good. Okay, so I'm going to add a half a cup of my gel. I'm gonna make sure it's exactly a half a cup. So that's about a half a cup. And it goes, okay, so in the blender with a cup and a half of nuts. I'm adding a little salt, even if it's sweet, I'm still adding a little salt in there. And 
Now is the tricky part because this is when we're going to play, be playing with a blender. I'm going to try and blend it by using as least amount of water as possible, possible, and that requires me really playing and uh, with the Vitamix and just helping it, plunging it. Um, I'm waiting for this weird sound where it goes. It sounds like the, um, the it sounds like the Vitamix is struggling. It kind of is, but it can handle it. Um, your Vitamix will shut off um, if it overheats. It will automatically shut off. It's not going to break, so it can handle a lot. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start this now. Workout. This is also a very good workout. <laughs> wow. So that's the toughest part about making the cheese is blending it. Woo! What a workout. My arms are sore. Talk about a heavenly looking whipped cream, too. Now you can either make it sweet or savory. Okay, so I'm going to take a molder just a piece of any dish so i'm lining my dish with the parchment paper it doesn't have to be perfect it could be rather sloppy because i'm just going to press it down in the end now i'm going to separate half of my cream for savory and that will be sweet, this will be savory. So now let's make it savory by adding savory herbs. Whichever one you like. I, I always add cilantro to the mix too because I love cilantro. A little parsley. A little pepper. And a little salt. Look at that. That looks just like ricotta cheese. Oh, you could put some garlic in it too. Whatever you like. Red peppercorns. And then just go ahead and slide it in the mold. If I had a little bit more, it'd be even better, but you just want to go like that. Push it down. Make sure it's even. Mm. And then I just, and then I'll fold it over and press it and put something a little heavy on it and throw it in the fridge. Let it chill. And when it's molded overnight, it's really nice what you come out with. So then you can just remove it from the molds. Yep. Okay, so this is sliceable now. Look at that. It's just like feta cheese, but better. So you could put this on top of your salad. It is really delicious. Or you can add it to a wrap, or you can just eat it just the way it is, or you could put it on a cracker. I had it in overnight, overnight, it turns into a mold like this. Okay, look at that, how beautiful, perfect. Okay, let's do the taste test. I like a little extra salt on my food. I'm not a sweet tooth, I'm a salt tooth. Oh my God, I mean goodness. Oh my goodness, this is really good. Oh my gosh, I don't even taste Irish moss in there. This is the best cheese I've ever made. Usually it has a slight Irish mossy taste. Mm, I wish my cameraman could taste this. I will. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? Okay, so that's that. 
That's amazing. Let me show you to do a quick sweet. It's so easy. I mean, if you're gonna make this, you may as well do a sweet and savory because Irish moss is so good for our skin. Our tendons, our tissues, everything. Our hair, skin, and nails, it's awesome. So we try and get Irish moss into as many things that we eat as possible. And look how cool this is. We can get it into our savory. We can get it into our sweet. And let me show you how. You can either sweeten this with, with stevia. I don't personally like the flavor of stevia. A lot of people do, however. I'm using Marcus's sugar. You can sweeten it with maple syrup, agave, whatever you like. The cool thing about this is this can be served immediately. It doesn't have to mold overnight. I went ahead and made a nut crust, as you can see. And then just do something fun with it. I wish I had a little bit more. I'm a little short here, as you can see. But I just wanted to do this so you kind of get an idea of what's possible. These are just some mangoes, since it's mango season. Add some of that. And I went ahead and made some chocolate syrup. It's in the cookbook in the beginning. I just wanted to drizzle a little bit on there, make it more fun. Add some cacao nibs. Got some hazelnuts going on. Oh wow, that is just awesome too. Okay, so here we go. This is cream cheesecake. You can either let it sit all night, harden a little bit, or it doesn't have to harden. But look, it's set already, thanks to the Irish moss. I can't believe this is vegan. Why, why do we eat dairy if this is possible? It tastes better. It's cleaner. It tastes more pure. Oh my goodness. I gotta take another bite, it's so good. Mm. It tastes so much like whipped cream, it's ridiculous. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. Two amazing recipes using the superfood Irish moss. Amazing hair, skin, and nails. Mm. Beautifier. We have our savory cheese. And our, oh God, this is just like a cream cheesecake. You guys can email me if you have questions. Try to answer as many as I can about the Irish moth. But it is pretty basic. Don't soak it longer than three hours. But you need to rinse it very well. I rinse it for about five minutes with my spray gun or if you have an outside hose, turn it on high. Anyways, this is just amazing. My name is Kara, and I am here to show you what's possible without animal products. Thank you so much for joining me again. Hope you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.